Hello again. Let's talk some more about the holidays. I don't know about you guys, but I am always a little bit concerned about my digestive health during the holidays. And I don't think I'm the only one. So I wanted to give you six different tips for how to maintain digestive health throughout the holidays. So let's dive in. Tip number one, as you're getting ready to eat a meal, don't drink a bunch of liquid right before you eat or even while you're eating that meal. So I could be talking about water, juice, alcohol, no matter what, any liquid that you're putting into your stomach is creating a different balance of liquid to the acid that's in your stomach. So the more you're putting in there of liquid, the less uh, high in acid content your stomach is, and therefore it's going to take longer to digest your food. So if you want your digestion to be working as speedily as possible, don't drink too much before or during that meal. Have those two things be separate. The second tip is to use spices in your food. Now, I don't necessarily mean spicy spices. Cinnamon, uh, parsley, clove, ginger, all of these warming spices or cleansing spices, oregano is great for you as well. Any spices that you can add are going to help improve and, and raise up that intestinal fire, but also are going to help to keep the body cleansed and digesting throughout the entire process. So if you can eat a lot of spicy food, that doesn't bother you. Adding peppers is fantastic. I know a lot of people have some autoimmune issues or some leaky gut issues, et cetera, et cetera, that are making them avoid nightshades. If you're avoiding nightshades, you want to avoid pepper. And so it, I want you to understand by spices, I don't just mean spicy. It can be any of those different herbs and spices. Go ahead and add more of those into your food. The fresh variety too, not just those old jars that have been sitting on your shelf for ages. Those are not nearly as potent as either buying some fresh dried spices or adding in the actual food. So the third tip, let's get a little bit more detailed. Specifically, ginger, peppermint, and cinnamon are great for digestion. They all help with inflammation, which is one of the main causes of digestive discomfort. So ginger specifically soothes the stomach. It helps you to keep from having that upset stomach feeling. Peppermint helps the muscles contract throughout your um, intestines, moving that food through, especially if you're like me and you eat some foods that you shouldn't be eating. Best thing we can do is go ahead and move them through the system. And then the third one is cinnamon, which is excellent for inflammation and also boost that fire in your stomach to help digest the food and regulates blood sugar, which if you're eating sweets during the holidays, adding some cinnamon into your food or any of these, you can also use vitality oils uh, in a capsule, put a drop of vitality oil into your food or even just hot tea with the vitality oil or the actual herb itself, an actual cinnamon stick. Uh, some actual peppermint, some actual ginger, right? You choose up to you, but those three would be fantastic for boosting your digestive health during the holidays. Number four, fourth tip, go for a walk after you eat. During the holidays, it's cold, right? And we're with a lot of friends and family that we haven't seen in a while. And so it's easy just to eat and sit, eat and sit, eat and sit. And if you're sitting, you're burning fewer calories and you're also not moving so that you're not helping your digestive system to move as well. So encourage your friends and family. Let's just go for a walk around the block. Let's go for a drive to the park and enjoy being outside. Let's just bundle up, right? Go for a walk after you eat, resist the urge to just sit there lethargically and that will help your digestion to continue to move on as well. Tip number five, okay. Let's just say you're gonna eat sugar, right? We all know that it's healthier not to eat sugar, but if you're going to, then you might think, if I just eat a little now and a little later and a little later and a little later, it won't be so bad. But actually, that's not true. What you should do is to eat all of your sugar together at once. The reason for this is that anytime that you eat, your, eat sugar, it affects your blood sugar levels. There's a rise and a crash. 
their blood sugar levels can only rise and crash so much, but they can do it every time you eat. So if you stick that all within one hour, then you only have that one effect on your blood sugar. But if you eat even less, but you space it out, then you're doing the blood sugar rise and crash over and over and over again throughout the day. And that has a, cha a chain reaction effect on your digestive and also a whole bunch of other health things too, right? So eat all the sugars together at one time. If you're going to snack throughout the day, pick the savory snacks instead. And then number six is if you're feeling digestive discomfort, then there are a few things that you can do specifically to alleviate the, the discomfort there. So the first thing would be to use one of your essential oils like Digize is the classic, um, but also peppermint, lemon are all really good for digestion. Rub that from your stomach, from the bottom of your rib cage, all the way down on your belly. You can put a couple drops with some coconut oil or olive oil and rub it all over your stomach. That will help to increase digestion, to help things to move along if you're feeling like bloated or overly full. If you're in a scenario where um, you have the opposite problem, where things are moving too quickly and that's your discomfort, or if it's just like a lot of physical pain, something like ginger or chamomile may be more effective here. So they are both soothing, calming. They won't have as much of a speeding up effect. They'll just really help to downplay that discomfort. So you can apply that right onto your stomach. You can also use your crystals here too. You can put a citrine right in that solar plexus area, right under your rib cage, uh, where your liver and stomach and gallbladder are. And you can put a carnelian uh, below your belly button, right in the area of all of your intestines, right? So you can use those two crystals to, for topical application, again, placing them onto your stomach and then lying down 10, 15 minutes, take a nap if you want, and allowing those vibrations to go to work while you're sleeping. So bonus tips, I have some more videos on digestive health here on YouTube, and I'll put that in the description for you to get to those different videos. I also have a digestive health workshop that I can point you to, and that will be in the description as well. You can go over to the website and learn more about that. It goes into a lot more um, width and depth about digestive health, about what creates um, dis-ease within your digestion, and what are some things that you can do to improve your digestion and also what other parts of your health are related to your digestive health. So there's a whole bunch that's involved there. And if you're really wanting to improve digestive health or just understand it better, that would be your next best step. So again, look in the description and you can see uh, links to the videos and the workshops there. All right, guys, wishing you a beautiful, joyful, blessed, and peaceful holiday season. And I'll talk to you soon. Bye.